Hi, I'm Josh, and this is the Science Classroom. In this video, we're going to talk about Archimedes' principle and buoyancy. Large ships seem to defy physics. They're made of heavy steel, and yet they float on the water. There's a force that opposes the weight of the ship and keeps it afloat. This force is called the buoyant force. So what are we going to learn in this video? First, we will define buoyancy and Archimedes' principle. Then, we will use those concepts to understand how a large ship is able to float. At the end of the video, there will be a couple problems to check your understanding. Archimedes was a Greek mathematician who lived around 250 BC. He made a discovery that when an object floats in the water, the weight of the water that is displaced by the object is equal to the weight of the object. That displaced water can hold the object up. In other words, it makes it float. As long as the weight of the object is equal to the force of the displaced water, the object will float. This force that pushes up the object is called the buoyant force. Buoyancy is the ability of a fluid to exert an upward force on an object. If the weight of an object is equal to the buoyant force, the object floats. But if the weight of the object is greater than the buoyant force, the object sinks. So how can we know if an object is going to float or sink? We can compare the density of the object to the density of the fluid that the object is immersed in. Let's use water as the example for the fluid. Water has a density of 1 gram per milliliter. That means if you have 1 milliliter of water, it has a mass of exactly 1 gram. So 1,000 milliliters, or 1 liter, of water will have a mass of 1,000 grams, or 1 kilogram. If an object is more dense than water, it will sink. Like a rock. A rock is more dense than water and it sinks. Remember that 1 liter of water has a mass of 1 kilogram. If you had a rock that took up the same amount of space as 1 liter of water, it's going to be much more massive. It weighs more even though it's taking up the same amount of space. That's what density is. So to get back to our ship, even though the ship is made of metal, its shape spreads out the weight over a larger volume. There's a bunch of air inside the ship. Overall, the density of the ship is much less than water so it floats. So in this video, we learned that the force that pushes an object up that is immersed in a fluid is called the buoyant force. Objects that are more dense than a fluid will sink in the fluid. Objects that are less dense than a fluid will float in the fluid. Thanks for watching. You can support the Science Classroom by liking this video and subscribing to the channel. 